Hey guys, welcome to the Finger Circle. It's your brother here, Zolisa, checking in as always, baby. Checking in with the queen, of course. The prettiest one in the land. Mm -hmm. Zozi and Shudu Shudu don't take anything from here. <laughs> that must be known. It must be known every, on every video, baby. Yes. Remind them, Sama Sam. Zozi and Shudu Shudu. Nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys we are back with another video and yes. we just want to say welcome back to the royal family yeah and if you haven't subscribed uh please do subscribe right now yes don't forget please do that right now okay mm -hmm. and to the returning subscribers welcome back so without wasting time baby let's just get into let's the get video. into it so today Sanasan, we're talking about Urabe. Mpiwano. Eh, ikuf kuf. Uma pana pana. Eh, i sex. I sweet zizi gata mtura. Tobalano kasi so. Si teta nge nkonzo. Nkonzo. Pia se rumi. Eh, si teta nge tanzi. Si teta nge teo ba abandwa na balele ngu. Yo, guys. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're just here to talk about talk sex, sex yeah. you know, because sometimes I feel like uh, people don't want to talk about this or yeah. their experiences because sometimes people judge them and mm. they feel judged, others feel judged, but there's nothing wrong talking about sex, yeah. whether you, you, you believe in whatever that you believe in, because mm -hmm. we all have different beliefs when it comes to sex. Yes. So right. we're just here to share our experience and our thoughts mm -hmm. about this topic. Yeah. So, for me, I broke my virginity when I was 20, that was in 2010. Mm -hmm. And if I knew better at that time, or if I knew what I know now about sex, I think I would have delayed it yeah. for a long time. Yes. For as long as I can think of, mm -hmm. because yeah, I think the rush was not worth, worth it, it at yeah. all. Um, but I, I was just curious. I think curiosity got me. Mm. I was curious and no one was pressurizing me to do it. And I was just a 20 year old who wanted to try this, you know? Mm. Yeah. And it could be, maybe it was also a uh, societal pressure. No, it was not even societal pressure, baby. Uh, I think it's the decision that I took. I remember very well. I took that decision and I was like, I'm doing it today. Today is the day I am doing the things. You know, mm -hmm. even the guy that I was dating at that time, he was not pressurizing me at, at all. But because I didn't understand what sex was, mm. I just did it. Yeah. And to be like after i did it i even broke up with the guy he didn't do anything wrong to me but i just didn't feel like seeing him i just hated but i just didn't like him after that because i feel like i i i, I did something even i asked you know mm. and to be honest with you like i think everyone can agree with me if you have done sex before at the age of 20 or 19 or 17 and you are on your late 20s or 30s right now like early 30s you will agree with me it mm. is different you know yeah, yeah. and we must not forget that i mean we, we 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 learn about ourselves that's one thing that i can say i took out from that experience, that experience at a young me. age i have learned about myself and as i grow i have learned uh, about uh, I've learned a lot of things about my body you know mm -hmm. so I just want to say this is just my message to my younger sisters that it's not worth the rush mm -hmm. if someone is pressurizing you to have sex it's not worth it trust me you will get the right time where you can say okay now i'm ready you know yeah. so don't feel pressurized or don't feel like just because your friends have done it now we're off mm -hmm. yeah, 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 like focus on your books 
and get that degree ube yeah i think you are absolutely right this is a topic that a lot of people are hesitant to talk about it yeah because um, there's a lot of judgment that comes mm. uh, with opening up about your sexual experiences, mm. but I really want to reiterate what you said earlier on. You know, everything that we put on our channel is for educational purposes, yeah. you know. We don't have any intention of making you feel inferior, judging you, criticizing you unnecessarily. Mm. Mm. And so we try to be very careful about everything that we mm. say. Mm. So. If we happen to come across as negatively judgmental in our dialogue, please forgive us. Mm. That is not our intention. But yeah. I guess we want to leave you with thoughts to think about, especially mm. our younger uh, sisters, brothers mm. and sisters, mm. you know. Many of us tend to engage in sex quite early mm. with no understanding at all. Mm. I think I once posted about this on my uh, Facebook, I think two or three months back that now at 34, knowing what I know about sex, mm -hmm. I would have delayed it as well, yeah. you know, because yeah. there's a lot you learn about yourself in your early 30s, mid 30s, mm -hmm. late 30s, you mm -hmm. know, and mm -hmm. I think for me as a man, the one thing I value more right now is the intimate relationship we have, me getting to know you, you getting to know me, mm. me getting to see you for who you are, and you getting to see me for who I mm. am, it seems as if I'm rhyming. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I think that's a beautiful experience. It's even beautiful than sex, mm. you know, when you get to know who you are. And we are not ignorant of the fact that we come into this topic with all our beliefs, mm. with all our assumptions. Basically, we come into this topic with all our worldview. Yeah. You know, so yeah. we are not going to tell you what decision you must make. Yeah. But I think it's very important to think about this in a very serious manner because yeah. no matter how we talk about sex in a um, Christian setting or non-Christian setting, mm. Mm. it does tend to have serious consequences mm. and sometimes a lot of people especially young people young women they get to be broken by mm. having sex earlier mm. Mm. you know or premature mm. in their lives mm. so i do think that sex is very important and you need to understand what you're getting yourself into mm. once you get sex mm. you know mm. a lot of men they don't really care much about sex they just want it but mm. for women I think it has a, a meaning deeper meaning behind it. You yeah, know? they they not doing it just because they doing it. You know, yeah. just yeah. because <laughs> he 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 what? No, it's 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 really not that. It's deeper than that. And as I said before, that it's better to to wait, to wait yeah. rather wait. And if you have feel, because some people, baby, um, especially like umdu, that. Uh, believes that you need uh, to have sex after getting married. married yes some people they do that mistake which is it's a mistake and you acknowledge that okay i have done this mistake and i am willing to repent and celebrate un until i, I get, get married, married. Yeah. yeah but sometimes uzobonwa it's it's hard because you know this you, you have yeah, already started it. doing doing it and now it becomes difficult for you you, you to control it's yourself. challenging to control yourself but you must just tell yourself that you know what i'm doing the right thing for myself and you're doing it for you not for yeah, anyone i yeah. think sex is just about you not anyone else mm. even your partner you're doing it to your partner because you want to do it mm. but no one you, you shouldn't feel forced to do it or feel ashamed just because you're not doing it and feel like when i wasn't doing yeah, it. no yeah. it's it's not about experience or that really is nothing actually it's nonsense so you really need to think about yourself and now i would say don't do it 
until mm. until you get the right person yeah. that says I will marry you. Mm. And or or I think you are in the right state of mind. Yeah. Whereby you're going to understand what you're getting yourself into yeah. Yeah. and you're going to understand even the consequences yeah, of, of doing it. Of doing it. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. That's what we wanted to share. That's just what we wanted to share. Yeah. We are not here to say ah ah this, do this and don't this do that. is wrong. Yeah. Even though we are of the Judeo-Christian worldview, we know what the Bible teaches us, yeah. but we are in no way going to impose our beliefs on you because yes. we know that you, you have it's possible beliefs. that you can have a different belief than yeah. ours. Yeah. But what we are trying to say is you need to understand what you're getting yourself into. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Basically, that's what we wanted to share with you guys. Mm -hmm. Nothing less, nothing much. Just that. Keep in mind that you need to think for yourself. Yes. And unga niki sani ngandoya ko. We chip nge lock and cool me. Bale iti ba. Nasiva, I think. Peace out.